Family Switch is an all new Netflix film directed by Mick G. So today, let's see if it's worth your time. Hey everybody, my name is Justin here. I try to watch everything that hits theaters and on streaming services like Netflix. If you guys are like me, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below and click that bell notification for more up and coming content. When family members switch bodies with each other during a rare planetary alignment, their hilarious journey to find their way back to normal will bring them closer together than they ever thought possible. So this stars Ed Helms and Jennifer Gardner as the parents within this film and Brady Noon and Emma Myers from Wednesday as their teenage kids. And uh, this is your typical body swap movie. You have the classic tropes to it. You have the moments where they're all arguing and I would love for you to be in my shoe for one day. You don't know what it's like. And then they have to resolve all of that. And the parents are ruining the kid's life and vice versa. It's all within this movie. There's no shine away from that, that this movie is very cliche. And it's a shame that there are so many body swap movies over the years and you know there are some that try to be original with it but that's not the case for family switch it doesn't really feel like there's anything original within this film anything groundbreaking it when it comes to a body swapping movie but i still found this movie to be charming i enjoyed it for what it was despite all the cliches and the predictable moments in here there's enough to make this at least entertaining and fun to watch. And I think the biggest thing behind this movie definitely is the cast. We have Ed Helms and Jennifer Gardner, Brady Noon and Emma Myers, and the whole cast does a great job of playing the person that they body swapped with. Emma Myers does a great job of playing Jennifer Gardner. Her daughter Cece in the movie is trying to get a scholarship uh, for soccer. Watching Emma Myers as Jennifer Gardner play soccer, there's some fun moments with that. And then you have the young girl that's in Jennifer Gardner's body and she has to take on these business meetings. And there's some hijinks along the way. Moments where you see uh, these characters realize, that, hey, that my parents put in a lot of work and they take care of us. Or uh, the adults realize that their children go through a lot at school and home. And so they realize things about the other person. And that's where a lot of the typical cliche moments come from when they start to realize things about each other. But there's enough charm to it. I really liked Ed Helms in here uh, playing a playing his younger son and then his son Brady Noon doing a great job as playing his father. So the performances in the beginning, they have to establish who that character is. They have to establish the character's personality, their quirks within the first like 20 minutes of the movie. And then they really have to shift that performance to play someone else. And so they did a great job of establishing the characters. Uh, some of the struggles, things they like, their personality right away, and then flipping that around and then doing something different. Mick G does a great job of establishing and understanding the family dynamics in here. There are going to be a lot of moments where they clash, but there are a lot of moments where they feel connected. And uh, the family aspect to it is pretty strong as not only the... Uh, mother and daughter have to work through things the father and son have to work through things and they have to work through things together so there is a huge understanding and message of the importance of family and being there for your family that carries a lot of this movie and it really feels like it's a family rather than separating the mother and daughter and father and son which they do often within this movie but when you really look at the whole entire movie, it's just about family. I would argue that this is a little bit of a Christmas movie since there are, uh, since the setting is during the holidays, you got the beginning of them talking about how they love Christmas so much. In the end, there's a musical number as well. So it's got this Christmas feel to it. It doesn't really overpower it. And you really don't think that this is a full on Christmas movie. It's just a body swap movie taking place during the holidays but it was nice to see that during the holiday season family switch doesn't go out and try to do something remarkable doesn't try to do anything groundbreaking it really feels safe and uh predictable and cliche but the movie does work it has that charm to it emma myers and for Gardner do a great job playing each other and brady noon and Ann helms do a fine job playing each other as well there are some cool moments along the way and moments that they have to realize things about themselves but like i said it's a film that's full of these tropes, full of these cliches. You know what you're gonna get with this kind of movie. You know how it's going to end. 
you know that they're going to resolve things and it's going to be and they're going to be happy and be completely new at the end of this movie there's no shine away from that within this movie i don't even consider that to be a spoiler because of how cliche the, even the trailer was for this movie but i still liked it it was fun as a one-time watch not one that i would like to revisit over and over again but i did find some enjoyment with this movie so before I give you my score for Family Switch on Netflix, make sure to check out my channel. Here I do movie reviews, trailer actions, ranking videos, tier lists, all that fun movie related content that you see on YouTube. I do it all here, so hit that subscribe button to get it all in one spot. In fact, to see where Family Switch ranks amongst all the other 2023 releases I've seen this year, follow me on Letterboxd and there you can find my ranking. I'm going to go ahead and give Family Switch a B-. minus. Thank you guys for checking my review for Family Switch on Netflix. Have you guys seen it by chance? What did you think about it? Let me know in the comment section down below. And stay tuned for more up-and-coming content like this. My name is Just Watches Movies, and you guys stay classy, YouTube.